Welcome to How to Make Movies with iMovie on your iPhone. The beauty of making movies on your phone is that you can both film and edit a movie on a single device, and that device is always with you 24-7. So let's get started. First, you tap the purple iMovie icon. It's a free app in the App Store. You'll see a purple welcome screen. Just tap Continue. Now you'll see three tabs at the top of the screen. Video, Projects, and Theater. Video is where all your raw footage lives, usually on your camera roll. Projects is actually how you get started, so we're going to click the big plus sign to create a new project. We're going to focus on making movies from scratch, so we're going to tap on Movie. Now you need to choose the theme. The default is simple. You can also pick Travel, or neon. Don't worry too much about this choice because it only affects transitions and titles. I'm going to go with simple and then I'm going to tap create in the top right corner. Notice how there are four buttons on the left side of the screen and four buttons on the right side of the screen. If you tap the done button, that'll take you back a screen. I'm going to tap the edit button to return to editing. The microphone button allows you to record voiceovers which we'll talk about later. The camera button allows you to record new footage. The media button allows you to import footage that you've already recorded. The question mark brings up the help menu. The gear helps you adjust project settings. The U-turn button is the undo button. And finally, you have the play button. To get new footage, we're going to push the camera button. Remember to hold the camera in landscape not in portrait. First we're going to tap the red record button. Tap the red button again to stop recording. At that point you can either tap retake to do it again, you can push the play button to preview it, or if you're satisfied with it just tap use video, which I'm going to do right now. Note that when you tap a clip you get all sorts of options at the bottom of the screen. First you'll see the scissors, which is the cropping icon. Next you'll see a little timer, which allows you to make it in fast motion or slow motion. I'm just going to leave it in the middle for 1x normal speed. Next you see a sound icon to change the volume of that particular clip. So I'll turn the sound of this clip all the way off. Next you see the title icon, which I'll come back to in a minute. And finally you see the filter icon. But I'm actually going to stick to the most common edit which is the scissor icon, which is cropping. First, I'm going to rewind and watch this clip. To rewind, you just drag the clip all the way to the beginning of the movie. And to play, you push the play button. I don't like the beginning of this clip, and I just want to focus on the little bicycle. To do that, you tap the clip, grab the yellow handle, and drag it until you chop off as much as you like. Notice that iMovie automatically puts transitions in between your clips. It looks like a little hourglass. If you want to change it, you just tap it and tap none to remove it or one of the other transitions. I'm just going to leave it on the default dissolve for now. Note that you can change the zoom level of the timeline by pinching or stretching the timeline. Note that you can also move clips by tapping and holding them and then dropping them where you want them. Now let's talk about titles. Like we said before, you can tap a clip and then tap the T for titles and add a title on top of it. But let's say you don't want a title on top of a picture. Here's a neat trick. What I usually do is take a picture of nothing and then put a title on top of black. To take a picture of nothing, you click the camera button Move the camera to photo, cover up the screen, and then take the shot. Then tap use photo. Notice I have a blank canvas to work on now. I tap it, click the T for title, I'm going to use prism, tap the text, and give it a title, my first movie. Voila! If you want to add music, just tap the media button, and then audio. And you can just use their theme music. I'll choose Bright, 
and the insert button. Now it's way too long, so I'll tap it and crop it short. The green box you see is the song. Finally, I'd like to add a voiceover. I'm going to tell the audience how cute this dog is. I'm going to tap the microphone, push the red record button, wait for the countdown, and say, ah, oh, what a cute dog. Push stop, and I can either cancel, retake, or review it, but I'm just going to tap accept. The purple box is my voice. Okay, we're pretty much finished our movie. When we're done, we tap the done button, tap the title, and give it a title. You can tap the play button to watch it in full screen mode, but we're interested in exporting it. So you tap the little share square. To send it to your camera roll, you just tap the save video button, pick a resolution, I'm gonna choose 1080p, and when the bar goes all the way across, the movie will sit in your camera roll, share it any way you wish. If you tap the X button, that takes us back to where we started. Notice now how I have a movie in the Projects tab. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want more information about how to make movies, click this annotation to go to 5-Minute Film School. Peace.